Dr. Luigi O'Donoghue was born in 1932 at Indulkana in the remote northwest corner of South Australia to a Pitjantjara mother and an Irish father. Taken away from her mother at the age of two, along with two of her sisters, they grew up in the Colebrook Children's Home, not seeing their mother again for more than 30 years. Dr. O'Donoghue rose from the missionary life, and in 1954, she became the first Indigenous trainee nurse at the Royal Adelaide Hospital, where she became the charge sister, working in the position for 10 years. Dr. O'Donoghue worked in India for the Baptist Overseas Mission before returning to Australia after the 1967 referendum. Joining the Department of Aboriginal Affairs and living in Coopapedi, South Australia, where she was reunited with her mother. In 1976, Dr. O'Donoghue was the first Aboriginal woman to be awarded the Order of Australia. In 1983, Dr. O'Donoghue was made a Commander of the Order of the British Empire, and in 1984, she received the Australian of the Year Award. Dr. O'Donoghue was a member of the Aboriginal Legal Rights Movement and has been a regional director and chairperson of numerous Aboriginal government agencies, including the founding chairperson of ATSIC in 1990. After the High Court's Mabo decision, Dr. O'Donoghue had a key role in drafting legislation for native title. Dr. O'Donoghue was named a National Living Treasure in 1998 and awarded the Companion of the Order of Australia (AC) the following year. Dr. O'Donoghue is well respected in the academia and medical research fields, holding honorary doctorates, an honorary fellow, and a professional fellow. In 2005, Dr. O'Donoghue received the Papal Award of Dame of the Order of Gregory the Great. And in 2008, then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd sought Dr. O'Donoghue's counsel in preparation for the historic apology to the stolen generations. NAIDOC Week 2019 on your official NAIDOC Television Station, Aboriginal TV Channel 4.